I work as a waitress at a restaurant and there is this couple that comes in every Thursday. They always flirt with me very creepily and it makes me uncomfortable. I am only 16. They look to be in their 40s maybe even 50s. It was Thursday and as you guessed, there they were sitting there smiling and waving me over. I greeted them as usual and asked what they'd like and the husband said I would like you. Gorgeous. And his wife started hysterically laughing. I didn't want to put up with this anymore so I started walking away to ask for another waitress to handle them. When they suddenly both got up and grabbed my arm and started apologizing. They said they won't do it anymore and to just come back and write down their order. So I said fine. They ordered their food and ate so I gave them the payslip after. They both winked at me and walked out. I opened the payslip to see a little note they left. It was my full address and a comment on the side saying see you tonight girly. I had no idea how they got my address until I realized. I was checking my roster on the front desk and I left my laptop on and they must have seen my information and the days I'm working next. I thought they were bluffing and I didn't think they would come to my house. I finished work and I got home and ate some of the leftovers at the restaurant. They always gave me free food. While I was eating I heard a tap on the window. It made me jump up and I dropped my food all over the floor. I opened the window and saw nothing. I got the feeling I wasn't alone in the house anymore, as I could see my living room window completely open, and a fresh set of boot marks on my carpet. I ran over to close the living room window and examine the boot marks, and that's when I realized, I didn't close the window in my kitchen. I ran back to find another set of fresh boot marks under the kitchen window. There were two people in my house and I suddenly felt fear for my own life. I heard them walking around upstairs and going through my things so I took that as my chance to run out of the house. I grabbed my keys and started to unlock the front door as quietly as I could but I dropped them. The keys made a massive thud and I heard them stop what they were doing. Next thing you know I hear manic footsteps running downstairs. I bolted to the bathroom and the locked door and hid in one of the cabinets while shaking so much. I heard them walking around trying every door until they reached the bathroom. The wiggled the doorknob and saw that it was locked and the husband whispered to his wife. She's in there. I got out of the cabinet and opened the window and jumped out. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place but what can you do while in shock? I ran to my neighbor's house and told them what was going on and we called the police and they showed up fairly quickly. The police came back out with only the wife. The husband had apparently shoved all the weapons they held in his wife's bag, locked her in one of the bedrooms and escaped, in a way to sort of frame her for doing it. As far as I know she got two years in prison but they never found the husband. This is a message from my mum, so if you're not her, please keep scrolling. I'm kidding, I know you're probably not gonna scroll, but oh well. Hi mum, how's it going? How's it hanging? Blah 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 blah. Yeah, um, you know the other day when you told me that I was addicted to my phone and that, oh, you need to get out more and stop going on TikTok so much, you're gonna get addicted. Well, don't think I don't see you with your Facebook and your Instagram seeing what Sheila and Jim have been doing over the weekend. Don't think I don't see that. You know, when you come over to me and seeing like, oh, look at Sheila's little child. I don't care about Sheila's little child. But it's the same thing as me checking up on my favorite TikTokers. You haven't even seen Sheila in like 20 years. Okay, bye. Teachers be like, Oh, you can't wear makeup, you can't wear jewellery, you can't dress how you want, you can't paint your nails, you can't do this, you can't do that, blah, 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 blah. And if you live in the UK, you'll know that on the 8th of March, we're going back to school after the lockdown. Over that lockdown, I've been wearing makeup, I've been wearing whatever clothes I want, I've been painting my nails, I've been wearing jewellery. Has it affected my learning in any way? No. And then teachers come back saying like, oh, but we need to set the boundaries somewhere. We'll set the boundaries somewhere. Make boundaries. But like, let teenagers express themselves. <laughs> Wearing a necklace will not affect my learning. All of a sudden, oh no, I painted my nails white. Oh my god, all of a sudden. Wait, what's two plus two? I don't even know. Let me take the nail polish off. Right, now I know what... A hundred times one million is. Oh, yippee. Since I don't go to in-person school, I stay online and do school on Zoom. I thought being online was very convenient because I could bring my tablet anywhere with me and still be in school. One time when I was on my lunch break, my mom went to get me a taco from Taco Bell because my other option was Mick Disgusting and God knows that I would rather die than to eat that shit. I went to go get my food from the kitchen and went up to join my class because my lunch break was over. I was eating the taco and all of a sudden my stomach started to boom boom shock a lack of grumble bumble. In my head I was just like, I can just bring my tablet to the bathroom with me while I shit. So I did that. I placed my tablet against the wall facing me and I took a shit. The shit literally shot out of my asshole faster than the earth could orbit around the sun. I did the most runny gunny, faster than a bunny, 
she's making honey, it spent my money, I was far from done me, I wasn't funny, chubby bunny, outside was sunny, extremely smelly, wiggled like jelly, traumatized Kelly, welly belly nelly, fly in the heli, cell phone telly, scared my cat Shelly, petroleum jelly. People started laughing but I thought the teacher said something funny. Then the teacher said, Sophia, you had all of lunch break to use the bathroom and you choose to not only do it during class but to also show us all too. I froze for a good three seconds because of how embarrassed I was. I fell face first into the floor and left the zoom and turned my tablet off. I stayed there with my face in the floor for like three minutes just taking in what I just did. I didn't go back to school for like three weeks. When I decided to go back, people called me Sophia Diary. Who remembers in primary school, it would be home time and all the parents are standing outside waiting for the teacher to let you go. And then suddenly a very, very serious crime happens in the classroom. Your teacher has discovered that there is one glue stick without a lid on it. She would say, um, excuse me, everyone. Where is the missing glue stick lid? You are not leaving until somebody finds it. Everyone is on their hands and knees, desperate to find the stupid piece of plastic. Like love. It's only a piece of plastic. Nobody wants to steal it. No one wants to sell it. It's worthless. Last night, I was lying in bed. And I realised something. You know when you hate your siblings? Yeah, we all do. And then you're like, oh, well, you're the adopted one. And you don't really mean it. It's kind of a joke. But, like, my brother's actually adopted. <laughs> So, I'd be really mean if I went up to him and be like, Oh, you're the adopted sibling. <laughs> One time in class I had really bad stomach pain like it was so bad the classroom was about to look like a nuclear blast just went through Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I literally begged my teacher and this lopsided oyster lip back hair unbrushed tongue divorced three times lost custody of her kids bitch told me I should have gone at lunch. Next thing you know a chocolate lake is running down my pants all over the carpet and I panic and start running around leaving a trail like a snail. I ran to the door to open it but she locked it with her keys and told me I should have gone at lunch and that it's not her fault I shit myself. I put my hands in my pants and started throwing my hot fresh diarrhea at her face and she vomited on the desk. I then grabbed her vomit and started throwing it at her face and she jumped out the window. I got expelled and she got fired so it was a lose-lose or a win-win lemeo. One time when I was 14 I'd always play on this quiet block with my friends. There were a few houses and a park there so we just took that as our chill out spot. There was this one house. It was a two story house and there would always be an older woman sitting at the front having a smoke. On the upstairs bedroom we could always see a boy who looked around 10. He had dark brown hair and very pale skin. He would smile and wave at us and watch us play in the park. I felt bad so after this happening for a while we decided to walk up to the woman while she was having her smoke and asked if her son would like to play with us. She said, son, what do you mean? We said we see a little boy at your bedroom window upstairs every day. She gasped and asked us to explain what he looks like. We did and she started crying and told us we perfectly described her dead son who died from a speeding car hitting him while he came home from school. The window we saw him at was the window from his bedroom. We said we are sorry and we left. If that's not the creepiest thing ever then I don't know what is. One time I was fighting with a racist kid on Omegle and he was literally screaming the word WAP at me. I said what the F are you talking about and he said it means white and proud. I said you unseasoned hillbilly cracker ass hick it means wet ass pussy. He then started screaming and crying for his dad to come in. I sat there unbothered and when his dad walked in he looked like the typical Trump supporting hog. He had a beer belly, an American shirt, bald head and a big beard with a southern accent. He told me if I have a problem with his son being white and proud and I said yes because there's nothing to be proud about. I then blew them a kiss then left. So one time I had this really rude math teacher like she would always yell at us for no reason and everyone in the class wanted to get revenge on her. She was really short like 3 feet tall so whenever she would write on the whiteboard she would need to stand on a chair. One day when she was writing on the whiteboard and she was standing on a chair I went up behind her and yanked the chair away and she went flying. This bitch went 984 miles per hour. She started orbiting like the aliens were gonna take her away. She landed and was unconscious so the other teachers rushed into the room and called the ambulance. Since nobody liked this annoying bitch we just said that she fell off of her chair when she was writing. The paramedics took her away and we still haven't confessed to the police that it was us and we probably never will since we don't give a fuck about her. She hasn't come back to the school ever since and this happened like two months ago so me and my classmates are hoping that she died. One time I was playing WAP in the car and my mom said what is this garbage? I said it's by Cardi B and it's called WAP. She asked me what WAP means and I froze and said it means worship and pray. She said okay and that was that. When we got home later she posted to her church group on Facebook saying let's all WAP. All her church group members were replying saying yes when we meet up we should WAP for each other. They then changed their church group name to the WAP sisters I still haven't told her what it really means lol. One time they were trying to steal, listen to this. So we put these charms in front of them to look at right and like there was like six or seven charms. Then randomly my coworker notices one two three four, where's the fifth one? It's not there. So I was like hey, 
Where's the other charm? I know how many charms there were, and it's not here. And she's like, what? What do you mean? Oh my god, there was only this many charms? Like, what are you talking about? So we call security, obviously. Security's coming in, staring her down. And then, like, 15 minutes later, after literally everyone's pressuring her, she goes, okay, like, the charm's in my pocket, but I was gonna give it back, I promise. Like, I wasn't gonna steal it. Girl. She was banned from the jewelry store, of course. And I had really strict parents, and my mom was friends with her mom. And I was kind of like a rebellious psycho, so I would sneak out and like do whatever, yada yada yada, teenage thing. And then she'd see me out, and in front of her fucking mom, she'd be like, Oh, are you going to a party tonight? Shh. Shh. Girl. You know what you're doing! You know I can't. Ugh, I can't. Like, this is why no one likes you. This is why nobody likes you. And to think, I defended the both of them at one point. Never again. Don't break anyone's heart. They only have one. But they have 206 bones. So, hi bestie. Um, it's been a minute since I've talked to you, so I just want to make sure you're doing okay <laughs> and let you know that you are incredible, you are strong, and everything about your existence on this planet is amazing. <laughs> Love you. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is He, it's spelled as H E, and that's it. Yes, it is my name, it is not my pronoun. People get confused all the time. The other day I was drinking a pub. This cute bloke came up to me. He was like, yo, what's your name? I said, my name is Ho. He was like, huh? I said, Ho, H-E, sir. And he said, nice to meet you, Ho. I was like, what? Excuse me? I am not a Ho. You know, that's my cousin. <laughs> One time me and my friend Sean were having a talkies mukbang in history. Then our wrinkly ass substitute teacher told us we weren't allowed to eat. Like bitch, you're the sub, how the fuck you gonna tell us the classroom rules when this ain't even your class? Anyways, we put the talkies away and a few minutes later I wasn't feeling so good and I asked to go to the bathroom. Mr. Raman said wait until Justin comes back. Like motherfucker, Justin ain't gone come back that bean takes forever in the bathroom. So I sat back down and held it in. A few minutes later Justin came back and I sprinted and took the pass. Then it was too late. I farted and oh my god it smelled so bad the entire class passed out. I ran into the hall to get to the bathroom and shit was pouring out of my ass like a garden hose. Then the school went on lockdown but I said fuck it and went to the bathroom to clean up my shit. While I was in the bathroom the police came into the spot in the hall where I shit it. Turns out my shit was so loud they thought there was a shooter in the school and I got admitted into Taki's rehab. My dad still calls me like 20 times a day just to check up on me. It's annoying, but I understand that's how he shows love. I was talking to my friend here uh, and he was like, oh, I haven't, I haven't talked to my dad in three weeks. I'm like, what is he in jail? He was like, no, I live with him. I just haven't talked to him in three weeks. I'm like, you do understand if I don't call my dad back in three hours, he's going to call 911. 911, what's your emergency? My son is a dead. It's like, sir, is everything okay? Is your son dead? He's like, no, but he's a dad to me. Okay, bye. That's just how we show love. One time I was playing WAP in the car and my mom said, what is this garbage? I said, it's by Cardi B and it's called WAP. She asked me what WAP means and I froze and said it means worship and pray. She said, okay, and that was that. When we got home later, she posted to her church group on Facebook saying, let's all WAP. All her church group members were replying saying, yes, when we meet up, we should WAP for each other. They then changed their church group name to the WAP sisters. I still haven't told her what it really means, LOL. When he asked me if he was the only one I was talking to, I said yes. And I wasn't lying. The other people I'm talking to are tens. Somebody. My girl looks like when they add them. Hide your back, she likes to stab them. things mothers hate one when i go out two when i don't go out 
Three, when I eat too much. Four, when I don't eat. Five, when I sleep too much. Six, when I don't sleep. Seven, when I answer her when she's talking. Eight, when I don't answer her when she's talking. My mom told me I would never be able to be a singer because I sound like Shrek. My mom was honestly my first and biggest hater for every dream I've ever had. I wanted to do gymnastics, but she told me I looked like a loose spaghetti. Then I wanted to be a rapper. She told me I sounded like I was yodeling in Spanish. Then I finally found myself and found what I really love to do, which was singing. So I told her I really love her support and I really wanted to pursue it. But she told me no one would ever listen to my music because I sound like Shrek. She even told me that no one would ever come to see me perform so I can forget all about it. But one day I was singing in the bathroom in school and my counselor came in there. After every sentence, say, I'm a man. Okay. I went to a bar. I'm a man. I took a girl home with me. I'm a man. I slept with her. I'm a man. I woke up. I'm a man. She whispered in my ear. I'm a man.